As the song goes, a lot of us are dreaming of a white Christmas, and for me that's most likely gonna stay in my dreams because it is nowhere near cold enough for snow where I'm at. So instead, I'm gonna have to settle for making a snowman using some paper lanterns. I'm using lanterns left over from a party, and mine measure 6 inches, 8 inches, and 10 inches across. The metal piece holds the lantern open, and it has a little hook for hanging. The idea is to hang the lanterns from each other to create the snowman, but the way it is now, the lanterns are likely to slide to the corners instead of stacking nicely. To fix this, we need to put a little bend in the bottom of the top two lanterns. With pliers, I grabbed the bottom section just off to the side of the center and gave a little twist. Don't bend it too much or else it will get too narrow for the lantern and not hold it open. A small bend will be enough to keep the lanterns from sliding. Next it's time to decorate our snowman. There's so many ways to do this including paint and markers, but I'm going to use puffy paint because I like the texture that it adds. The important thing when decorating your snowman is to figure out how the lanterns will line up when they are hanging from each other. You don't want to put the face on one side and the buttons on a different side. So I'm holding my lanterns with the side that will line up in the front and adding eyes, a mouth, and a carrot nose with puffy paint to the littlest lantern. Then I put two buttons on the front of my medium lantern and three buttons on my largest lantern. While those were drying, I scrounged up some plastic containers to make a hat. I cut the bottom off a peanut butter jar using a razor and scissors, and of course be careful with this step because the plastic might be more difficult to cut through than you expect, which kind of happened to me. So after cutting out the jar for the top of the hat, I realized I didn't want to go through the struggle of cutting out a circle from the detergent pod box, so instead I found a lid from an old coffee container and it was already black, so it also saves me from some painting. I used my hot glue gun to attach the jar to the top of the lid, and as always it ended up a little bit off center so we're just gonna ignore that. A little tip to keep the glue bond strong but also clean is after they're attached together, go around the edge with the tip of your glue gun. I'm squeezing out a little bit of glue in any spots that aren't secure, but mostly I'm just letting the hot tip of the glue gun melt the glue and smooth it down. Once the glue cooled, I painted the top of the hat black with my favorite apple barrel acrylic paints from Walmart. Now you can see Folgers on the lid a little bit, but it's not super noticeable, so I just left it be. Because hey, that's the beauty of making my own decorations. If I want to leave it where you can read Folgers on the lid, I can do that. When the paint dried, I glued a random scrap of ribbon onto the hat. I think I saved this ribbon from either a gift or a piece of packaging, and this is a great way to come up with little tidbits for craft projects. Or maybe I'm just a hoarder. Moving on, all that's left is attaching everything together, and this is where I realized I hadn't fully thought through how to attach the hat. Like the lanterns are easy, they just hang from each other, but what to do about the hat? What I came up with is adding a little loop of pipe cleaner to the bottom and to the top of the hat. I took one pipe cleaner, cut a little piece, and glued it into a loop on the bottom. And then with what was left, I made a big loop and glued it to the top of the hat. If I were doing this project again, I would instead cut or melt a hole in the top of the hat before gluing it to the brim and run the pipe cleaner loop through the hole. That way the ugly ends and the glue could be to the inside instead of on top of the hat. And then I would do the same thing with the lid that I turned into the brim. Make a hole in the center, feed a pipe cleaner loop through, do all the gluing to the inside, and then glue the hat top and brim together and paint it. But even so, what I show here still works, and all that is left is to hang this project up all together. I'm still not sure where exactly I'm going to put this little fellow, but I think he turned out pretty cute. I feel like he would look good hanging from a light fixture on the porch, but I don't know if it would survive the elements outside. So if you have a great idea on where to hang this decor piece, please let me know in the comments. I need your inspiration. And hopefully you're inspired too, and will give this project a try. One last thing I love about this snowman, it stores so easily. Once the season is over, I can flatten the lanterns again and they take up barely any space. I love large decor pieces, but I hate figuring out how to store them, so this is the best of both worlds since it stores pretty small. I've got more fun Christmas projects coming up, so be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of the fun. Happy crafting!